Hello, and welcome again to Eregina 120. I'm Jeff Cliff, and uh, this is yet another video of something that I think you should know. Uh, we kind of touched on this subject a little bit in the previous video, uh, but I wanted to go a little bit deeper into it. Uh, so this is a video about Occam's Razor, um, which is a, I guess, way of dealing with situations where there are two competing explanations for something. Um, and the, the razor is, is that you, you cut out the more complicated one, leaving the simpler one. So you believe the simpler of two explanations, even if both are equally plausible, or, or if you have no other reason or, or means of tearing the two apart and believing one or the other. And so what, what does it mean to have two alternative explanations for something? So th th an example would be uh, something kind of taken from a Carl Sagan uh, work, which is, you know, suggesting that there's a dragon sitting right beside me. Of course, you can see the dragon, can't you? Oh, well, of course you can't. There's, there's, there's no dragon there. But uh, I if you look and, and try to you know, convince you that there's a dragon there, uh, you could say, well, it's an invisible dragon. So that's the reason that you can't see it. And, uh, well, you could ask, well, if it's an invisible dragon, then why, you know, is it, it you know, how do you know that there's a dragon there? Is it breathing fire? Does it occasionally breathe fire? Have you ever observed it breathing fire? Um, and you could say, well, yes, it breathes fire all the time, but it's invisible fire, uh, and it doesn't heat anything up. And so you can kind of go down the list of um, thing after thing that this dragon does, this invisible dragon that breathes fire that you can't smell or see or taste or feel. Um, and you can kind of make a chart of the two explanations perhaps that I'm lying being the second explanation. And so under the dragon, we have invisible fire. You'd have to have some mechanism for understanding how fire could be invisible, how fire could not heat things up. And a whole variety of other things that you would have to describe to, to convince somebody that there's a dragon present. Uh, whereas if I'm just lying to you right now and, and there is in fact no dragon beside me, then that is just a simple explanation. Uh, it doesn't require very much to, to understand it or to argue it. It's just there is no dragon there. And so in this case, Occam's razor would clearly say, you know, the simplest of these two explanations, A, that there's a dragon sitting beside me, or B, there's no dragon that I'm just lying to you, uh, that it would be more likely that the, the second would be the, the case. And so this is not necessarily a foolproof or foolproof way of uh, achieving truth uh, when you're faced with things. Uh, sometimes uh, things do get complicated and you actually do have to learn about the details of why one thing is true rather than the other. Uh, there's an old saying which is that uh, f fiction is simple uh, compared to reality because uh, fiction has to make sense, um, but it, whereas, of course, reality doesn't. Uh, you don't have to understand it by default. You don't have to understand the causes of things. Uh, they, they're going to happen either way. Uh, you can try to understand them. You can learn about them. Uh, but it's not necessarily that you'll understand it right from the first appearance of the situation. And so uh, the other thing, too, is that uh, there are situations, again, that are going to be complicated and that really strain uh, your your uh, ability to 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 make this kind of comparison. Uh, my kind of favorite is the uh, uh, in the 1980s, the U.S. government uh, ran drugs into its own borders uh, to fund uh, kind of illegal war efforts in Central America. Um, the idea of the U.S. government selling crack cocaine uh, would have been kind of straining uh, plausibility while it was happening, but nevertheless, it was actually true, and so. Any any time you're you're employing this, you have to keep in mind its limits. But again, it's it's a useful thing to know about, a useful tool to have in your tool belt, and a useful way of telling situations that you may have no other means of, of choosing between two competing hypotheses, two competing explanations um, that are I, I guess that you get faced with. So uh, again, uh, hopefully.
hopefully, you know, in, in the future, if you do encounter two uh, equally plausible things and one of them is simpler, you do choose the simpler one, unless you have a good reason not to. Uh, this has been John 120. Uh, if you have any questions or would like another example, feel free to ask. Uh, these videos are for you, the, the viewer, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it.